Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Victoria and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I edit my Instagram photos. If you were wondering how my feed looks like this, I'm going to show you how. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I thought it would be a little fun video, super helpful in case you're getting into like Instagram. Who's getting into Instagram right now? I mean, everybody's into Instagram. But yeah, I just hope you guys enjoy this video and just keep on watching. All right, so I'm gonna move over this side and I'm gonna have my phone screen recording here so you guys can see everything that I'm doing on my phone. Okay, bam, here's my phone. I'm on my phone right now. And basically the first thing I do is take pictures wherever it is that I take pictures. It just depends, honestly. I just take pictures and if they come out, thank gosh, because it literally takes me like a million tries to get a good picture. For the one Instagram picture that I post, I have like a million that didn't work out. But anyways, this is the picture I'm gonna be using. Um, I took it a while ago. Looks like this, you know, in the sun, that glow. It's not my favorite, I didn't post it on Instagram, but it's good to show you guys like what I do because it has the sun on it. I like taking pictures with the sun on it. First of all, it makes your face look like cleaner and you know, more perfected and it gives you like a little glow if you don't have highlighter on and all of that. You can see like my glow right here and my glow on my nose, you know. That's natural guys, by the way. <laughs> so the first thing that I do is I get that picture and I go to Visco Cam and I'm just gonna import it into my Visco Cam. So now it's here and now I can edit it. So the first thing that I do is I use the same filter for all my pictures. Oh my gosh, that's my dad, guys. <laughs> so yeah, people don't really have a theme anymore, but I've been using the same filter on my photos just to make them look a little bit coherent in my Instagram feed. And the filter that I use is the C11. C11. <laughs> but I don't use it all the way. I think it's just too much. I just like it to give like a little hint of color to my photos. So I do it like around there. That looks good. See, that's like too much. This one's like... You can like barely tell, but it's like still there to where like the colors are the same, you know? So until I do that, I play around with like everything just to see where I like it. I like the exposure like that, the contrast, now I don't really want to change that. Saturation, I could put a little bit higher, not too much. It's already like has like a lot of color. I do the white balance. I try to make them more blue and pinky. Sometimes I add green. I mostly add green for my Instagram stories. I think they look a little bit more, I don't know, just cooler and something different. But um, nah, I don't really want green on here. I like how my skin looks. So once I'm done with that, I save it to my camera roll. And then I go into Facetune. Now guys, I don't use Facetune to like make, oh my God. <laughs> this picture that's on here. Whatever, I was editing that picture. I don't use Facetune to make my face look slimmer, make my eyes bigger, do this to my arms, do this to my waist. Do I don't use it for all that because I feel like there's like so much of that in the world. Like I just wanna be real. And if my body doesn't look like that, on camera and on my Instagram. I don't want people to see me and my body looks different. So I don't know, I mostly use it to play around with like the colors and stuff. All right, so I insert the photo. Once I have the photo inserted, one thing I do do is sometimes if I have like little blemishes, like I don't know if you can see, but I have like blemishes on my chin and I don't really like that to show. So I go here and I go to smooth and I just smooth those out a little bit because you know, just insecurities and stuff like that. And just like a little, those little blemishes that, I mean, I don't really like, but nobody really likes. So I do that, and then sometimes I go to paint. Did you just hear my mom scream? She literally just got back and she's already screaming. Um, sometimes I go to paint. Oh, mom, I'm filming a video! It's okay. So like I was saying, sometimes I like to add like a little bit of color to my lips. Uh, I don't wanna do that much right now. So I basically pick the painter and I just pick like the color I like of my lips. And then I just try to paint that in to make them a little bit more colored. So, ew, that looks actually so fake. I don't like that at all. So let's bring that down a little bit. 
and just make them a little bit more pinkier that's about the only thing i really do i always like put my lips a little bit more the color that i want it because i feel like when i take pictures it just washes out and i don't really like it yeah i don't really want to do anything else to this picture to be honest normally i have more things to do but i don't know i just like it like this so then i just save to my camera roll and then sometimes i use pix art and i'll just show you guys how i do it i don't always use it but i'll just show you sometimes i like to add like a little um a little a little spice <laughs> so i go here and i go sometimes i go to brushes here they have the little butterfly thing that i really like so i could just like tap and add these little butterflies in oh my god that actually looks so cute or sometimes i go to this little stickers thing and i add like a basic one is like stars you see i already searched it up there and then i'll just pick the ones that don't cost money um, and i'll just look through here which like star thing i want let's say if i want to post this one just put it on there put the opacity a little bit but yeah you see I'm just like adding like random things to my pictures oh another thing that I used to do a lot not really a lot but I used to get the brushes and get this little silver thing and just like outline myself so ah, I'm just gonna do a quick little example of like outlining myself I'm doing it super bad guys by the way on purpose i just want to show you oops so you see it's like a little outline but yeah so i could do all that and keep going and play with it for a million years but i'm just gonna save it and i save it and then i post it if i liked it but i'm not gonna post that just a little trick so I like my Instagram pictures to look good like in the feed because that's where they're gonna stay, right? How do I say? So when I wanna check if it's gonna look good, I just go to my Instagram and I post it super fast for like five seconds. So look, I'm gonna post this one. Post. And once it's posted, I'm gonna look at it, screenshot my Instagram feed. Oops. Don't share it. I wanna delete it. And then I just delete it and then I go back to my photos and I just look at it and see how I like it and see if it goes with my feet and all that and I actually want to post it. And then yeah, that's pretty much it. And then if I like it, then I post it and if I don't, then I don't post it. That's pretty much it. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much how I edit my Instagram pictures. I hope this helped you. If you wanted to know how I edit my Instagram pictures, I don't know if you wanted to know, but in case you did, there you go. Please let me know any other videos you want me to make down below as usual. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so, 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 so much. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.